to someone's house, like a friend or a family member, and they make you feel like you have to update your house. I'm at my cousin Gabby's house. That's Gabby. Anthony, it's Katino. We're in Harrison right now. I'm not going to give you the address because with the looks of his kitchen, I would rob the place. But how lazy do you have to be for somebody's appliances? Touch? Forsake? Hey, babe, I want to put a microwave in our kitchen that got fit a four-year-old comes over and wants to use it by themselves. They can. Oh, I got a great idea. Let's put one in the island. I want to put a stove in that looks like it's not a stove. It looks like it's a solar panel. Bam! A normal family, one oven is sufficient. Not for this family. They have two. <laughs> also, I don't want to make extra room in the fridge for wine. So we'll just put a designated cooler for it. I know what you're thinking. Hey, Aunt, you might get a cold wing on the kitchen floor like that. Not when it's heated. I also want a refrigerator that costs as much as a car. Let's put a sub-zero stainless steel. And the best appliance of them all, I love coffee. I love lattes and espressos and macchiatos, but the lines at Starbucks are sometimes too long. I've got a great idea. Let's put a full barista inside the wall. Hey, all joking aside, cuz, I love what you did with the place. The kitchen looks great. Funny thing is, when I got here, she said, oh, we redid the whole house. The kitchen I like, we didn't want to go overboard. We wanted to keep it simple. Simple. If my father was here, he'd go, oh, my decent people look like an Italian and Jetson.